Asia. Good afternoon. This is Jericho here, and this is uh, Wait a Minute Production. As you can see, there is a new project that I'm going to do. I'm going to paint this huge artwork. It consists of three A1 size art paper. It's going to be a daunting project. But as you can see, the head is actually pretty small compared to that hand. So you have to just imagine that the hand is pretty near the camera or the viewer's eyes. I haven't done the crotch or the sitting pose yet. But later, it looks in proportionate. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Uh -huh, there's another huge artwork that I'm, I've am i just finished and I call it uh, what do I call it? I can't remember yeah, it's already signed down there and there's a title, it's called Amanda Ray Ayanami as you can see uh, this artwork is black and white and it has his ha her hands outstretched but I think the hands are, are a bit too small, it should be a bit bigger and her breast is a bit too big are red, that's the only colorful thing about this artwork. And she has a patched eye, reminiscent of the Evangelion series where the character Rei Ayanami was injured in a battle against who? Don't know, I'm not sure. Gitu, I think, uh, statue, the angel statue in Evangelion, not sure. So today I want to talk about Gundams and I've just got myself two more boxes and this time it's going to be Saku themed, Saku 2 themed to be more precise. Yep, today I went to the Bumi Utara toys at uh, section 14 is it? At section 14 of Kataling Jaya and I want to make a correction to my earlier video uh, in the unboxing of or in the introduction of the perfect great strike Ru rouge rug whatever 160 skill that comes with a sky grasper I said that the rent in that area section 14 was 30,000 ringgit and I think that's a bit too much and too skeptical and uh, to be truthful the rent was actually 11,000 bucks 11,000 ringgit uh, it was because the guy who works there, he said he was factoring in um, uh, salary, stock and whatnot, so it comes to 30,000. But in actual fact, I was only thinking about the rent and the rent was or is 11,000 ringgit. And Chura's rent will be around 7,000 ringgit and that will be a bit near to the Litak warehouse. So I went to this Bumi Utara uh, shop and I wanted to get the perfect great strike Gundam, the one, the normal ones that is piloted by Kira Yamato and not the strike Rouge, which was piloted by his sister, which was uh, which was revealed that she was his sister later in the anime. I think it was in the not sure which season it was. Was it the sec second season or the first season? I'm not sure. Can't remember. But I did download the remastered version of Gundam Seed, and I'm not sure whether I want to download the remastered version of Gundam Seed Destiny, because Gundam Seed Destiny was a bit of a shit, shitter. And uh, yeah, Gundam Seed Destiny was a bit of a shitter. But maybe because the subs were pretty bad pretty bad indeed and that's because back in like say 10 years ago uh, most English subs were from Chinese educated people in the net and it was like very very poor translation and it might be a case of lost in translation and made Destiny Gundam unenjoyable so I went there and and I wanted to buy, maybe, if I got a good deal, 
a perfect grade strike Gundam. At the re normal retail price, it was at 300 ringgit, and they were having a clearance of stock and by 50%, and it was like 150 ringgit. I bought the Strike Rouge Perfect Grade with Skycrasper at 120 ringgit. For this particular Perfect Grade Strike Gundam, 150 ringgit was a bit too much. And I wanted to like try to get a better bargain and I would like to, to have had the chance to buy that Perfect Grade Strike Gundam at 100 ringgit. That is because, well, it was not that universally uh, acclaimed or accepted by the internet community saying that the GHB version of that or GHD version of that was actually crap yeah, too many too, <coughs> sorry, too many uh, loose loose plastic, excess plastic you have to shave off and stuff like that so I negotiated with the boss there which who is a pretty nice guy and he said that no, nah, you can only get give me the most at sixty percent for the perfect grade, and not seventy or seventy plus percent at all. Yep, and that's the story. So I ended up buying Zaku's, which uh, well, I always wanted to make or build a Zaku, preferably a perfect grade Zaku if all the vents being able to be opened and the innards being able to be scrutinized <coughs> I think it would be a lost cause a perfect grade to me because I don't have facilities or the inclination to paint the innards with silver or rust or whatever that can make it into an awesome and a uh, most awesome model so without further ado it has been 7 minutes maybe I'll just on with the review two units yep two units from Bumi Utara and the first one is cost retail price 90 bucks 90 ringgit half price will be 45 this is the Zaku 2 J version and comes in a grey box it it is actually quite small box, but it is very, very thick. It is grey in colour, but it's actually green. I always wanted to a uh, green, normal Sakutu, because it is most mostly used by all the Xeon forces, and I can roughly say that. I got this at 40 ringgit, which is roughly how much US dollars? F 40 divided by 3, 13 US dollars. Yeah, roughly 13 US dollars. So let's open up this 13 US dollar Zaku and see what's inside. Hopefully, this is a TT Hongi. TT Hongi thing, which is actually a middle quality knockoff company from China. The better ones are MC models or what's that called? Uh, what does MC stand for? Model Comprehend, I think. Yeah, they have very good, very good uh, knockoffs or plus knockoffs that uh, that copies from not from Bandai, but from resin kits, and uh, resin kits are usually much bigger than the Bandai's master grade versions, and can be as big as a perfect grade. <coughs> so it's a good thing the knockoffs from MC model or mo model comprehend, and another one would be another company called Gogo. If you have have the chance, don't buy GHB. GHB of the double O series, high grade and master grade, they look like plastic toys. So, yeah, I want to talk about MC model. And MC model, I saw that, okay, it's a 10 minute mark. I think I'll just 
stop here and wait for part two.